So this is my review of the Manfrotto Pixie Evo Mini Tripod. This thing, as you can see, as you probably already know, is beautiful. I really, really, really like it. And I got it because I wanted to do, I wanted something more substantial to hold my camera when I'm doing my YouTube product reviews. And I look through, when I say hundreds, I mean hundreds of other mini tripods on the market. And for me, this was the best one. I mean, it's just, I think it's stunning. I, I, it, I saw the YouTube videos and it looked really beautiful. I looked at their website, Manfrotto website. And when you have it in your hand, it's just as beautiful as, uh, as on screen. Now, there's a few reasons why I bought it. And I'll go into that in just one second. First of all, it comes in this packet here, this packaging, which I have to thank Manfrotto for because it is the easiest packaging to open. You just slice the tape around the edges and you're in. No cut fingers. Thank you, Manfrotto. Thank you. Right, so going on to the product, I like it because it's very well, it's very sturdy. It feels very nice and solid in the hand. When I first looked at these legs, they looked quite, they looked like plastic to me. And I had to actually touch them and no, they are actually metal and they, they are aluminium. But they've got a very nice thick coating on them. Likewise, on the ball head, it's aluminium as well. And I mean, look at that design, I just love that. It's just beautiful. So it's very, it's a very good sturdy plastic at the aluminium and it's just very well designed. Here you have some kind of rubberish tips on the end, but I wouldn't say they're rubbery, they're actually quite slippery. They don't seem to be that grippy, but uh, they'll make do. And some people have actually mentioned that these have come off on their tripod, so it hasn't happened to me as yet, but I haven't had this for too long, so. Right, so how much does this thing weigh? Let's get it on the scales. So that comes in at 265 grams. Anyway, the reason why I bought this one in particular is its portability and adjustability. Now this particular model has two main um, height levels with like six micro adjustments at each stage. This is the standard height and you have an adjustment level here that you can move. Let me just fold the, the legs in first. Move that across to the ground level control. And then these legs actually go completely flat like that. Well, not completely flat. You can see there's some gap there. And as I said, you can adjust the legs out. So if we go to the normal position, I'm just going to put it back to its normal standard height. When Manfrotto say there are actually five levels, I kind of disagree because I think there are actually six levels on this mini tripod. Like this level now, where it's fully, all the legs are fully closed, I would say that is level number one. Then, if you listen, you can press here, the button. I would say that's level number two, three, four, five, six. The sixth one doesn't click, but you've actually got six levels in total. I know when you've actually got it closed, you wouldn't count that as a level, but I actually would. That's level one, up to all the way up to level six. Now, when it's fully closed in its normal height position, as in the normal tripod position, I measured it from the bottom here to the top of the, the mount, and it goes from 16.1, these are approximate measurements, from 16.1 um, millimeters to when it's fully up extended to 19.8 millimeters. So when you also have it in the ground level mode, it goes from a minimum height of 10.4 millimeters up to a maximum of 
approximately 12.45. The difference between each step is actually probably about between three to four to five millimeters. This is very, very, very small. But uh, I mean, that's, that's, that's a cool feature that I really, really like. Another thing I like is, well, obviously with having this ball head, you have the opportunity to actually put your camera in or your smartphone in the normal horizontal mode or portrait mode by just adjusting this ball head screw there, which is very, very cool. Another thing that I like is this is a relatively small mini tripod. It's about 20 centimeters long end to end. And for something this small to be able to hold up to a maximum of two and a half kilos, I think is absolutely fantastic. You know, that gives me confidence when I mount all my equipment on here, knowing that it's going to be able to hold it with ease. So that's excellent. Another plus point for Manfrotto on this uh, mini tripod. Now, what don't I like about it? To be honest with you, there is absolutely nothing I don't like about it. I think it's absolutely brilliant and it's the reason why I bought it. Like I said, I looked through hundreds of mini tripods and this was the winner and I'm very satisfied with my purchase. But what could they do to improve it or when they bring out another version, what could they do? Now, I personally would like to have seen everything made out of aluminium. This is aluminium, the legs here, the ball head is aluminium, but this rotating screw isn't, it's actually a plastic. And I think for the money you paid for this, which is like 40 pounds or maybe 49 to 50 dollars, US dollars, I think everything should be aluminium, you know, apart from these parts, which are plastic, obviously. But I think I would have liked to have seen that rotating screw in aluminium. Another thing is, and all of these points I'm saying here are extremely, extremely minor because this, this is all already a fantastic product. But I would like to see and feel a little bit more grip on these uh, feet under here. I think they don't give enough purchase for my liking, but I think they're more than adequate for the job, but I would like to see them a bit more grippy. Likewise, with the leg adjustment buttons, they look like they're rubbery, but they're not. They're plastic. They're like the same plastic as on the rest of the leg. And they're not slippery, they're, um, sorry, they are slippery, they're not grippy. I would like to just be able to just have my fingers just grip and know I've got a good, a good, good handle on the button and I can just pull it out easily. At the moment, it's very slippery. That is a very, very minor point. And I guess on their red and their white models, if they did make this out of a kind of rubbery material, it would probably show up marks and, and get grime on it and attract more dirt. But I think they should, they should have done that. But like I said, this is just a very, very minor point. So, apart from that, what do I think of it? Well, you probably already know. This is a winner. This is an absolute winner. I absolutely love it so far. I think it's excellent. It gets a thumbs up from me. In fact, it gets two thumbs up. Good job, Manfrotto.